that we speak about, the three consecutive. William Bergoya swings away and sends a drive, hit to deep left field, and Bergoya, on the first pitch that he sees, has hit a home run to left center field. Hankins touched up for his sixth long ball of the year. Bergoya hits his fourth, and the Senators lead 1-0 in the first inning. There they go, 3-2 to LaRue, ball four low, and that walks in a run. The curve are on the board. 3-1 the score as Chris Duffy trots home. 5-6-3 will be the out that is recorded. Now Seth Bynum swings away at the first pitch he sees and drives a ball deep and out of here to left field. Seth Bynum pounces on an offering from the right-hander and hits it to the bleachers to give the Senators a 4-1 lead. It's just a really, really fun time. Ball hit sharply down the right field line by Guzman on a 1-0 pitch and extra bases into the corner. Off of the crack was Baez from first all the way home. He'll come, and Harrisburg extends their lead 5-1 here in the top of the sixth inning. The only other is Jack Wilson. 2-1 pitch and a flare hit out into right center field, a base hit. The curve will score one is scoring from second base, Luis Cruz. 5-2 5-2 the score, the curve trail, the 1-0 pitch to Duffy. Fly ball, tag, deep center field on the run. Daniel still going to the warning track. He makes the catch. This will produce a run, scoring from third, Bowers. And the curve have scored a pair here in the bottom of the seventh inning and are now down 5-3. It's interesting that Adam Carr was the first baseman at Oklahoma State while Shelby Ford played second. So they share the same side of the infield for the Cowboys. And a pop-up. Towards shortstop, but this should do it. Shelby Ford pops out to the shortstop. Bynum, Adam Carr closes it out with a save, and the Harrisburg Senators grab a two games to one lead in this four-game series with the finale coming up tomorrow night. Final score, Harrisburg 5 and Altoona 3.